cannot hurt him. To, it, defeats, it defeats our purpose. Stop! 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 Chill! Come to me right now. 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 Come to me. Come to me right now. This woman just got paid. Come to me right now. Come to me right now. holding back the protesters of the Target. Why did you do that? The reason why I hold people back from Target is because the individuals that wanted to break an entry into Target in the first place were de undercover detectives hired by the NYPD. Are you sure about They that? made it seem as if that they were with the group, but they were not. And I was right there, front line, with everybody else explaining to them that we are simply doing a peaceful protest. The cops are trying to set us up right now, and they're currently following us as we walk down to the bridge. 
What would you say to the protesters right now who are hurling projectiles at the police? I would tell them to stop. That is not the narrative we're painting for our generation. Our generation is different. We mean what we say, we say what we mean. We want peace, we want unity, we want to feel safe again in our country. Can I ask why are you out here tonight? What is your message? My message is to let America know that we're done being oppressed by racism. No matter black, white, whatever the color may be. But today's story is the narrative of the African American man being oppressed and that's why we're here. To show America that we're not afraid to fight back terrorism, racism, and anything that oppresses us as brothers and women because we are all Americans and that's how we should stay and remain as one. I've been hearing your frustrations and I would love for you to share them with the community right now because you and so many others are going through such a rough time. How's, how was last night? It's scary. I live in the high rise right back here and I seen them as they came down Lake Street. But then they turned and started coming over here and I'm sitting out looking in my, out my window. And they went straight to Office Max, the dollar store, and every store over here that I go to. I have nowhere to go now. I have no way to get there because the buses aren't running. These people did this for no reason. It's not going to bring George back here. George is in a better place than we are. Last, last night, I'm going to be honest, I wish I was where George was because this is ridiculous. These people are tearing up our livelihood. This is the only place I could go to shop. And now I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to get there.